Drone photography is becoming an art form. How do you plan your shots? Do you just throw your drone up in the air and hope for the best? Let's have a look. Cue the music. Hi everyone, it's Stephen here from The Flyby Guys. How are you all doing? We need to talk about drone photography as an art form. It's now slowly being recognised and I see lots of people on the Facebook groups just putting pictures and not really thinking about what they are actually doing. Some of you are and there's some fantastic pictures out there and I'll show you some examples as well of the really, really good ones. Not just my own. Um, but I think it would be good to discuss how to plan a good photography shoot. What do you do? What do you do? I'll show you what I do. Let's have a look. Google Maps is a great source of information, things that you can't see from the ground. So when I tend to plan, I use Google Maps. So I search for an area, like here, I'm going to go to Pasila in Helsinki. And then I'm going to choose the satellite imagery. Now, usually satellite imagery is quite old, but it gives you a good idea of the terrain and it will help you in many, many ways. So here I'm looking for the train station. There's one particular image that I'm looking for, and that's the train tracks and the place which is just above it. So there's also patterns and lines. I tend to be a photographer who goes for symmetry a lot, lines and symmetry. So, and this is something which I'm trying to get. And this looks quite good. So I think I'm going to go here and get a shot like this. This would be great. And then also there is a shopping center next to it, which is a building site here, but it's been completed now. So in this area, I will go and I will look to see if there's anything interesting in this area here. And we can try to capture a shot. So let's go and see what we can find. Just done my pre-flight checklist and we are good to go. If you want to see the pre-flight checklist, you can have a look in the top right hand corner of the screen now. And we are near a no-fly zone, but I don't want to go into that no-fly zone. So I'm just going to hit no and we are good to go. It's very hot today, so I have to be very careful with the battery. Just make sure that I don't have the drone getting too hot. It's about plus 28 today. It's, uh, it's very, very hot. So let's take it up to a safe altitude. And then we're going to go to the center of this building. And there is a square courtyard in the middle. There's no, it's not a courtyard where anyone can actually go, I don't think. So it should be fairly quiet for us. We shouldn't see anyone there. So good for privacy. Um, let's take it over. We're going to Fair enough height just now, so we'll try to see how things will look in the middle of this building. It should look okay. It's looking just fine. I like all these squares here. So the squares on the side of the building and the squares on the bottom. So this is interesting for me. A bit annoying with that shadow, but what can you do? Um, yeah, this is looking nice. This is actually looking quite good. So I'm just going to line up the shot as best I can. I try to minimize as much cropping and post as possible, even though I always shoot in raw. I always shoot in raw, but I try to do minimal amount of cropping as possible. This is looking okay. Let's start taking some shots. 
and we'll see how this looks. Okay, let's just try with some with some different shutter speeds and we can see how they will be in comparison. And this is how the image will look now. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So lens correction has been done, didn't do too much. I didn't touch the cropping, but this is actually quite good. I'm fairly happy with this. It's quite what I wanted. Yeah, good. Okay, let's move along. So for this next shot, I unfortunately I was unable to capture capturing the shot because I had run out of memory. So, but you can see what I was trying to do. I was capturing these shots here, but I wasn't too happy with this with this shot. It was too messy with the roof. So, but I was really wanting to capture the train tracks, and that image looks like this. So fairly happy with this image. That was two images now that I actually caught, which I'm fairly happy with. So yeah, not bad for a day, quite happy with this. Okay, let's get the drone back. Now let's have a look at some good planned photography from drone users from around the world. Carl Houghton from Blackpool sent this picture in and he shot this with his Mavic 2 Pro. I love the composition of this. I love the balance between the foreground and the background. I've put a link to Carl's Instagram in the description below, so please give him a follow. He's got some really amazing pictures, and I do advise you to follow him. Brian Chua from Shanghai sent this picture in, and this is another great example of planned execution. He's lined the shot up absolutely perfectly. He's got the exposure set to catch the light trails and just one great example of many places in Shanghai, which is great to shoot. I put Brian's Instagram ID in the description below. Give him a follow. He's got some stunning pictures. Ahmed Saubra from Dubai sent this incredible picture. This is one of my favourite pictures for a long time. I've seen this picture quite some time ago and I have just fall in love with it. Great example of symmetry, great example of execution again. Uh, having Dubai in the background with the Burj Khalif, um, fantastic picture, just love this. See, you can follow Ahmad in the link below for his Instagram, check out all his pictures. Incredible and well done. Thank you to everyone for sending your pictures in. Greatly appreciated. And if you would like to have your picture featured, you can send me an email with the contact details below. And that's it. It's quite simple. If you have a process, then you can get the most out of your shots. And remember, always shoot raw, unless you're a Mavic Mini user. Okay, thank you everyone. Remember, like and subscribe to the channel. There's more stuff coming. A part two of the business videos are coming up. And we'll see you again. Fly safe.